It's our first year to have the CCR class. So we sat down before school started and kind of talked about my idea for application day. And then leading up to it, we kind of, you know, I wanted to put this rather than since I couldn't pull all the kids out and pull them into places, we wanted to kind of put this in as a whole unit in the CCR program. So what we did was we reached out to the local colleges, universities, and, you know, in our area. And we said, hey, send us a kind of a, a walkthrough video, like a walking tour of your campus. So most of the universities and some of the community colleges sent us 15 to 20 minute virtual tours of their campuses. And so we spent about two weeks sending that out. We send the link to the students. We do them in class, in the CCR class. And, and let me back up and say, all of our seniors are scheduled for this CCR class. So then after we finished doing all the virtual tours, then we started an, a, a, basically an assignment in the CCR class where you had to have five. And now you could do more, but you had to have a minimum of five. And you had, there was, a, we created a worksheet so that they could go through and answer what they liked about that school, what they were majoring in, you know, what the program was like. Just, you know, some, some basics, not just, oh, fill out an application to all these schools because your friends did. We wanted it to be a meaningful, relevant assignment. So we went in and, and we had a really good participation. Um, I sent out the same links to parents. We sent out the, you know, the assignment to parents, letting them know um, just kind of what we were doing and why we were doing it. And we would have kids that would say, hey, I'm not going straight to college. I'm going to the military or I'm going straight to work. So we had them to look at technical programs. And then we had the ones that were going to the military. You know, we had conversations with them with some of our recruiters. We did some Zoom conferences with our recruiters and then, you know, asked them, what are you doing after? You know, let's, let's go ahead and investigate the after. So you can still apply because that'll kind of give you that same research and let you know that, you know, when you are finished, are you doing career military? You know, if you're not, are you doing military science or, you know, whatever. So we were kind of looking at it today and long term so that we could kind of give them an idea that, you know, and, and we looked at payment. We looked at how you, you know, how Colin sent me a thing, a kind of a breakdown from the different colleges of what things cost and, you know, based on, your parents' income, whether you would qualify for FAFSA and things like that. So we went in and we just kind of did some discussions. Being first generation college students, sometimes, you know, the parents can't answer those questions. They don't know how they're going to get it paid for and they can't afford to pay for it out of pocket. So we kind of answered some questions on how to, to get there. We created a spreadsheet of each of Coach Wren's classes. And so when a child or when a student would finish completing an application, let's say they're applying to Colin. Well, a lot of Colin's application, they're still paper pencil. So they would, they would turn that physical application in to Coach Wren. He would check it, make sure that they had everything they needed. And, and they got their points from that assignment from that. If it was an online application, when they submitted it and got successful, Coach Wren monitored that part and he would initial that they were finished, you know, to where we got, because we were asking for five. And then as far as the first generation, it's just conversations with students. Like I said, this is the first year that we've taught this program and, and Coach Wren has been amazing. When he came in with this, this program, he taught history prior to this, and we just sort of sat down with our principal and, and our assistant principal, and we talked about a large portion of the get to college aspect of this and, and what we wanted him to be able to do during this class. <clears throat> Some of the different aspects of this class are, are just, they're just very 
they're not fleshed out, if that makes any sense. So it leaves a lot up to the teacher. And so we really wanted the class to be meaningful for our students. Um, we looked at the process where you can do the class one semester each year. We didn't, we did not want to do that. We liked having it in their senior year. And so we've, we've kind of got that set in as a requirement for all seniors, they have to take this class. And when, once we laid it out, and, and I have to say, I have a, an awesome administrative staff. So when, when we discussed the class and what it was for, and then we all looked at things that we would like to see taught in there, like resume building and, and things such as this, you know, we, we just sort of kind of sat down with a plan. And then once we put our plan together, we went to the teacher and said, okay, this is what we want that we think is the most important things to make sure they leave here with. This is what we would like to see you do. And we, we have always done an application day where we split our seniors into three groups and we bring them into computer labs and we talk with them, the, the different members of the leadership team, talk with them and have them to apply to these different schools. I really like having this aspect where they have the virtual tours and then, then we start looking at, you know, are you applying to the school just because your friend's applying there? You know, are you applying to applying pre-med to Mississippi State? Because if you are, why? Because that, that doesn't make any sense. You know, so we, I like the fact that we look at programs. We look at, you know, specifically what they're interested in and I like the fact that it's done smaller scale. Coach Wren has five classes. So when you start looking at five classes of 24 students, it's a little easier because you're dealing with smaller groups, you're dealing with more time. So he's really, you know, getting in there with them and, and having these conversations about different schools and different programs and things you want to major in and finding that job after you major in this program. And I think that makes a difference. I think they can, I think the students can see the, the validity of this program. And I think sometimes when we bring them in and it's just an application day, I think they just apply everywhere and they don't have a plan. And so I truly believe that this has got to be a, a full planned out process. <music>